All right, so in today's tutorial, we want to consider classification of the state of a discrete time Markov chain, okay? So to better understand the, the state of Markov chains, we need to introduce some definitions. The first definition that we want to consider is accessible state, okay? So given two states, I and J of the Markov chain, we say that state J is accessible or can be reached from state I written as I maps to J. If starting from state I, it is possible that a process will ever enter state J. So this implies that the probability of transition from state I to state J after N steps will be greater than zero. And this is going to be a state transition diagram of an accessible state. We have two states, one on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side, okay? So this means that state two is accessible from state one, okay? And this also means that state one is accessible from state two. So one of the Markov chain starts from state two, it will eventually get to state one, okay? All right, so to the next definition, communicating states. Two states, I and J, are said to communicate, written as I and J communicate using the left right arrow symbol if they are accessible from each other, okay? So that is, if state I and state J communicate, then you can say that state J is accessible from state I and also state I is accessible from state J. Now take note that communication is an equivalence relation which implies that every state communicates with itself, okay? Also, if state I and state J communicate, then you can say that um, state J and state I will also communicate. Now, if state I and state J communicate and state J and state K also communicate, then you can say that state I and state K will communicate, okay? And you can actually prove this using the concept from the chapman Kolmogorov equations, okay? So this is going to be a state transition diagram of communicating states. So this means that state one will communicate to state two, and this also means that state two will communicate to state one. So because these two states are accessible from each other, it means that you have a communicating state, okay? So to the next definition, we have communicating class. The communicating class in a Markov chain is a subset of states such that those states can be reached from each other at some point in time in which new states communicate with states outside the class, okay? So for example, consider the Markov chain shown in figure three. It's assumed that when there is an arrow from state I to state J, then the probability of transition from state I to state J will be greater than zero. We want to find the equivalence classes for this Markov chain. So this is figure three. I want to find the classes for this Markov chain. So we can have these classes. We can see that state one and state two communicate. So this means from one class. State three and state four also communicate. So this means from another class. State five will be a class on its own. And you can also see that state eight, seven, and six also communicate. So this means from another class. So basically, state um, eight will communicate to state seven through state six. And state six can also communicate to state eight through state seven. Okay, state six and state seven are basically accessible from each other. So basically, we are going to have four classes okay, in this Markov chain. So the first class is made up of state one and state two. The second class is made up of state three and state four. The third class is made up of state five, and the last class, class four, is made up of state six, seven, and eight. Okay. All right. So now to the next definition: irreducible state. A Markov chain is said to be irreducible if all states communicate with each other, okay? In other words, an irreducible Markov chain has only one communicating class. So if you take this example, um, you can see that this will be um, irreducible or not irreducible Markov chain because all the states do not communicate. In other words, we don't have a single communicating class, okay? All right, so take note of this remark. If a Markov chain is not irreducible or it is reducible, then the limiting probabilities of the state of the, of the Markov chain do not exist, okay? So um, for instance, if you're asked to find a limiting distribution for this Markov chain, there's no need for you to try to solve it, okay? Or work it out. You can just um, try and discover whether the Markov chain is um, reducible or irreducible, okay? So once you, you discover that it is not irreducible, then you just have to state that the limiting probabilities for the Markov chain will not exist, okay? So it is important we take note of this remark. 
So this is going to be an example of a theoretical sober of chain. Okay, you can see that all the states communicate with each other. Um, basically, state three will communicate to state two through state one. Okay, so you can see that all the states are accessible from each other, or we have a single communicating clause. Okay. All right, so the next definition, closed class. If C is a set of states such that no state outside C can be reached from any state in C, then you can say that C is a closed class, okay? So for example, from figure four, class four, which is made up of states six, seven, and eight, is going to be a closed class, okay? So this figure four, you can see that once we enter this class from six three, there's no way we can escape. The same applies to um, moving from state five to this class. So once we enter, there's no way we can escape. Okay, so this becomes a closed class. Once you move from any state to this class, there's no way you can escape. So this becomes a closed class. Okay. So to the next definition, we have absorbing states. Now, a closed class containing only one state is said to be an absorbing state such that the probability of transition from the state to itself is going to be one and the probability of transition from the state to any other state will be zero, okay? So for example, from figure six, class one and class four are going to be absorbing states, okay? So let's take a look at figure six. So here we go, you can see that here we have two absorbing states here is one and the other one. So once we move from state two to state one, there's no way we can escape from this state. So basically, the absorbing state is a type of closed class where the probability of transition from this state to its second state to one, and transition from this state to any other state will be zero. The same applies to state four. Once we move from state three to state four, um, there's no way we can escape. So this is a type of closed class, but the probability of transition from this state to its is going to be one, and the probability of transition from this state to any other state is going to be what? Zero, all right. So in our next session, we'll be looking at how to calculate absorption probabilities, also known as hitting probabilities, okay? Sometimes it's assumed that when you move, once you move from this state to the absorbing state, you hit it, okay? And there's no way you can return back. So sometimes we use the word Hitting probabilities in place of absorption probabilities. Okay, we will be looking at how to calculate absorption or hitting probabilities when the transition is from other state to the absorbing state. Okay, all right. So this will be a trial question. I will leave the solution in the description of this video so you can check it out. Please, if you find value in today's tutorial video, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And thank you for watching.